Many products exist on the market that claim to offer protection during high wind events such as hurricanes. The Federal Alliance for Safe Homes, FLASH, recommends that you use only those products that have been tested and approved using one of these standards through a recognized product approval system or evaluation report. Impact resistant windows, shutters and doors should have proof of compliance identified on a sticker or label or be imprinted into the product. Code approved products will be tested and approved using SSTD-12 or ASTME-1886 and ASTME-1996. SSTD-12 is a testing standard for impact resistant glass and shutters. The combination of letters and words translates into Southern Building Code Congress International Standard 12. The letters and numbers for ASTM E1886 and ASTM E1996 stand for American Society for Testing and Materials. The E1886 is the testing method, while the E1996 is the specification for determining the performance of impact resistant products. The most stringent product approval standards in the nation for impact resistant glass and shutters use Miami Dade acceptance criteria and protocols TAS 201, 202, and 203. The TAS stands for Testing Application Standard. TAS 201 is the large missile impact test. TAS 202 is the test for structural pressure, air, water, and forced entry. And TAS-203 is the test for cyclic pressure. For roof coverings, FLASH recommends products tested and approved for both ASTM D3161 modified to 110 miles per hour or ASTM D7158 for wind resistance and UL2218 for impact resistance. ASTM D3161 is the testing standard for wind resistance in residential roofing products. The combination of letters and numbers translates to the American Society for Testing and Materials Standard D3161. The test involves using fans to blow air across product test panels at a speed of 110 miles per hour for two hours. UL2218 is the testing standard for impact resistance, from hailstones for example, in residential roofing products. The UL stands for Underwriters Laboratories, which developed the testing criteria. The 2218 identifies the test protocol, which consists of dropping steel balls from designated heights onto roofing materials at specified locations. Proof of compliance for roof coverings cannot always be found on the shingles, but can be found on the product packaging. If you do not have the original product packaging, ask your contractor for proof of compliance. A number of consumer resources exist that list tested and approved products. Online resources include these websites. For products that do not have prescriptive testing standards, look for evaluation reports from organizations such as the International Code Council and the International Hurricane Protection Association. For more information about protecting your home from disaster, visit www.flash.org today.